What's up everybody and welcome to a new video on my channel. As you may not know or just saw the last video, thank you for 150 plus subs and um, hopefully we can keep going on. Anyways, if you don't know me or know a little bit about me, I'm a sucker for Milo Pony since I grew up watching it. And one of my favorite artists on TikTok, Anxiety Monster. Please go check them out. Link in the description. Has created their own version of the MLP virus. I have seen this so many times on my FYP pages. <laughs> There's so many, so many <laughs> Milo Pony infections. Uh, history is definitely repeating itself because I grew up with the Grim Dark version before the infection series was even a thing. So Grim Dark Milo Pony stories like Rainbow Factory and Cupcakes were my cup of tea. And yeah, small HD, which we should not, we should not, or never will talk about ever again. So, anyways, this is the Cookie Virus by Anxiety Master in the stages, and your entry by pretend that's ketchup and not blood. <laughs> oh, Twilight! I'll turn that down. Beginning stages. Pony is somewhat sane but very hungry. They crave the cookies. They were infected with more than anything in our. Desperate to do anything more for earlier signs. Well, well, to do more for any or desperate to do anything more. I cannot English for God knows why. <laughs> earlier sign is rainbow muzzle, permanent smile and slash frown. Rainbow muzzle. You see on twilight, blown pupils, Run. going blind possibility. Second stage. I thought there's realizing that because it looks like it. Second stage. Pony Sandy is declining. They can still speak, but can't stop thinking about hunger. They are extremely desperate for cookies, so much so they start chasing down any anything living and taste. They have cookies in their stomach. Their mouths and stomach begin to rot. Hair and feathers begin to fall out. Losing feathers and hair, plus mane, plus tail. Stretch mouth. Stretching induces skin tearing. I hate those eyes. I, I don't like those eyes. Why that... does every infection series I've seen I always see like hyper realistic eyes? It's fucking creepy. <laughs> Sunken eyes, blind, incredible sense of smell, skinny, slash hungry. Mutations begin to front for every pony in case this. In this case, stretching limbs. Third stage, Sandy is gone. They can no longer speak and only make desperate cells of hunger and anger. They begin eating ponies, hoping for a sweet taste to satisfy their needs. Their mouths are starting to stretch slash droop. Depending on if they're mutated with a smile or frown. They are naturally skinny. Different parts of their bodies begin to stretch and change depending on the pony. Manes and tail have shed. The pony is unrecognizable besides the cutie mark. And that's definitely Twilight because Alicorn. I can see what she kind of looks like. Final stage. Something. Pony is something. Something can't even tell any. But has. It's kind of hard to read a little bit. I am trying my best, but I, yeah. At that point, just run. Next. On to the next part. This is Rainbow Dash's journal: Surviving the Cookie Virus. This is all my fault. I'm not the type to keep a journal, but Rarity says keeping. Oops. Rarity says writing down your thoughts can help your nerves and keep your thoughts straight. Right now, me, AJ, Rarity, and the CMCs are hiding out in the sweet Apple Acres barn. We've barricaded all the windows and doors, but we can't stay here forever. All fine, just pretty shaken up. Applejack is looting the barn, finding anything we can eat or use as weapons. She refuses to look at me or even speak to me. 
Sorry, I got text messages on my phone, which is next to me right now. Birdie is panicking, that's obvious, but she's trying to calm down her and her sister. Poor Sweetie Belle isn't taking any of this well. She hasn't stopped crying since we got here. Album is trying to comfort Sweetie Belle and help AJ, but Scootaloo also isn't speaking to me. I don't really blame her. That's definitely Fluttershy because of the hair and tail. And Twilight. That's creepy. We, all that's left the point felt as I know. We gave every point those horrible cookies. All I can see when I close my eyes is Twilight's twisted grin and Fluttershy's Fluttershy's drooping frown. I want to think about them. Understandable. Pinkie Pie has the first was the first pony who ate a cookie, but I haven't seen her anywhere. She hasn't. She wasn't at Sugar Cube Corner with the poor Kick family. Those little Kick twins. What have I done? I'll go back. The cookie writer stages frowning ponies. Journal entry by something. Can't make what that word is now. Beginning stage, same as smiling pony. Pony still has some sanity, but is very hungry. All the all they talk about is how much they need the cookies. They were infected with earliest, earliest signs of infection as rainbow muzzle, permanent smile shows frown. Unlike smiling pony, pupils are dilated and begin. To, well, pupils are dilated and begin to sink. Permanent drooping draw. Lovely. Second stage, Pony Sandy's declining. They can't still speak, but all they seem to mumble is the word cookies. They are extremely desperate for cookies, so much so they start chasing anything. Ch they start chasing down anything living at the stage. They often find and eat small animals, though if confronted by a pony, they won't hesitate to attack their mouths. If some begin to rot, hair and feathers fall out. Drooping jaw, reduced tearing skin, sunken eyes, sunken eyes possibly blind. Oh, that's drawn. I thought that was realistic. When I first saw this. Okay. Third stage, Sandy is completely gone. Pony can no longer speak, can only make desperate sound of hunger and anger. And they're certainly, well, they begin certainly targeting ponies. Hoping for a sweet taste to satisfy their needs, unlike Twilight, who I observed, observed in the past, Fluttershy seems to droop, droop downward instead of growing taller. Do all frowning ponies mutate this way? I'm unsure, but it's dangerous for me to find out. Manes and feather, feathers have completely shed. Ponies left are recognizable besides the kingdom mark. Eyes, she keeps staring at me, drooping slash stretching neck. An unhinged jaw, and possibly no teeth. Oh, that's lovely. Final stage, pony is beyond recognition. Can't even call it a pony anymore. Blind, got a baby, but has incredible hearing and sense of smell. Breathing is rapid and urgent. It is very hungry. It will lunge and attack at any noise or scent of blood. Stay indoors and lock the doors. Going outside is guaranteed death. I think she can see me. Can't she see me? She sees me. Oh boy. Shadow shadows. Rainbow Dash Journal. Surviving the Cookie Virus Part 2. We camped out in the barn for only two nights before we were spotted. We heard an awful groaning sound and I took a peek outside and a mangled and grinning Granny Smith was slowly approaching the barn. Luckily she was far away enough for us to have time to pack up a wagon of supplies and book it out the back door. AJ and I pulled the cart with every pony inside but even with the two fast, even with two of the fastest ponies in Ponyville running in Sink. An awful thudding sound was echoing behind us. Granny was chasing us. Apple Bloom started crying. That's my Granny. She's family. We had to help her. I took a look at AJ and she had tears in her eyes. 
That ain't our family no more, Sugar Cube. We didn't know where we were headed, but it had to be far away from Garney and far away from Pony Mill. But we were suddenly cut off by a creature jumping in front of us. It was hard to tell who it was in a moment, but from Applejack's gutted, gut, girdle scream, I think that's how you pronounce it, I, I'm positive it was Big Macintosh, or what used to be, at least. In the effort to get away from him, AJ and I took a violent sword right tumbling down a steep hill. It was a really hard. It was a really hard fall. Everyone fell out of the wagon, and the thing crashed us into the thing crashed us into a big apple tree. In the mess of chunks of the wagon, crushed my wing, and another fell on AJ's leg. <laughs> my wing hurts like hell, and it. W <laughs> it was all twisted in ways it shouldn't be, but there was no time to shake it off. We had to go. Think. Oh, awesome. We already levitated back. We already levitated all the supplies we sh she could, and AJ and I carried the CMCs on our backs. AJ was limping harshly with every step, but she was in such a blind panic. I'm not sure she even hurt. Realized she was hurt. AJ led the way to, led the way and showed us, into well, showed us to a little wooden shed in the middle of the orchard. AJ said that part of the orchard was so far from the barn they built a little shed to hold extra supplies. It was small and uncomfortable. Everyone was pressed up against either a basket or a shovel. But AJ reassured us it was only until morning, and when those things were gone, our family. I could barely sleep. My wing. Pinky Pie starts staring at me. <laughs> oh, it definitely looks like Pinky's eye. I could barely sleep. My wing felt broken, and I'm sure it, uh, Apple Jacks isn't any better condition. So I could, couldn't get Granny's face out of my head or Apple Bloom's, Apple Bloom's cries. So I decided to be lookout, staying awake and listening or watching for any close. My thing, I could hear any. I couldn't hear anything all night. Not hoofstuds, heavy breathing, or anything. Well, I'm sure we are all safe. I couldn't help the feeling that we were being watched. Dash's journal surviving the cookie virus part three. I must I must have yeah, I must have fallen asleep of is that over at oh that's at at some point because I woke up to Rarity's nudging me nudging my shoulder. It was morning and everyone was awake. Applejack said it was okay to leave. We each grabbed a basket and looked and looked that's yep, looked and loaded them with apples for the time being. They'd be our only food source. I had barely picked five apples when I heard Rarity shriek without much thinking. I ran to her. She was holding a she was holding up a magical gem shield and pushing back what used to be Big Mac. He was thrashing he was thrashing thrashing I can't fucking English thrashing and was and gargling and Rarity's magic was fading. What should I? What should I do? What could I do? That's Pinky. Definitely Pinky. Before I could act, some pony lunged into the scene, whipping out a powerful flashlight and shining in, in Big Mac's eyes. I saw it. Big Mac howled and took a few dizzy steps away. The pony yelled, "Get the Crusaders and follow me!" The three of us ran, AJ being the only one still hurt, still carrying her apple basket, Rarity and I carried the crusaders. In the blind panic, we followed this pony until we were out of breath and sure we weren't followed. We only stopped when AJ collapsed to the ground. The pony turned to help her and I, and that's when I got a good look at her. Holy crap. Pinky, I jumped on 
pink I jumped on yeah I jumped on pinkies for a Ugg but she shoved me away this is this confused me because I never seen her fucking English because I never been denied a hug from pinky bye but then but she did look a lot different as she helped AJ do her hooves hooves I got a good look at her she had her Hair down multiple scars on her body and her mouth was a rainbow. I'm not affected, Pinky said. And I'm looking at Fluttershy's cottage. Let's go. AJ ended up ditching the apple basket and Pinky carried her on her back. Pinkie Pie led us to Fluttershy's. Fluttershy's, oh, dar oh darling. What's this mean? Gertie seems overjoyed, but Pinky said, no. She got, she's gone too, but she also not home. Hasn't been for a while. Her cottage is far away enough from Plainville that I've been buckering there for a little while. Well, a little while now. When we got to Fluttershy's, it was just Pinky, as Pinky said, empty. I even a single animal, but there's a lot of body chunks on the ground of what used to be Shy's critters. I wonder if Fluttershy did this. Pinky led us to Fluttershy's basement and ground a medical kit bandage. Bandaging up AJ's leg before she did the same to my wing. <sighs> I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if you'll kill right. I'm sorry. It's cool, I replied. My wing hurt, but it felt better. In the sling. No one need answers for you, Pinky. We can't keep secrets during this. What happened to you? Are you infected? Pinky looked around the room. And sighed, can I speak to you alone? I wanted to argue, but tell her whatever she had to say, she could say it to every pony. But the way she spoke was suddenly soft. She sat on the verge of tears, so I agreed. We made our way upstairs and quietly looked through all of the windows to make sure we hadn't been followed. Pinky sighed and turned to me, tears welling up in her eyes. Oh, Rainbow, this is all my fault. And that's the last part for right now. Like I said, if you want to read this for yourself or take a look at their page, it's mostly a lot of My Little Pony drawing. I'm a sucker for My Little Pony, <laughs> as I said it before. And uh, yeah, go check out Anxiety Monsters Cookie Writers or some other post because their art is amazing. I wish I could draw like this, not gonna lie. <laughs> but, anyways, if you want more of my little pony affection AU. I got some of them lined up right here. I got the Crystal Flower AU. I got Nugget the Cats AU. I got uh, another one right here and another one right here. If you want me to check out those for the next video or whatever. Or if you want to see different type of videos like this. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time in whatever I make. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Cookie Virus by Anxiety Monster. I have recorded this multiple times before, and hopefully this is a good take. <laughs> so that could be any sound, because, for fuck's sake, for some reason it's too loud. I want to have sound in the background, but... Nope. I thought it heard something, I'm not going to lie in my house. Um, but yeah, no sound. <laughs> and I'm just going to read off this. This is part six. And it too, this is part four for my mode master's journal. And say thank you for the recent support on my last two infection videos. I know a lot of you in the comments say like they don't sound like thank you for noticing that because I thought the sound was pretty good in the background by the same time. Like that might be too loud because when I'm recording it, it doesn't sound loud to me, but for you guys it might sound loud. So um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> So, no sound for the next two parts, and, well, <laughs> some of y'all want a part two for, uh, this virus. And, uh, well, you're gonna get your part two. <laughs> and we're also gonna cover, um, my little outbreak as well, since it's, like, one part, and this doesn't have, like, two types of memes in it. So, one, this one has a meme. The other one doesn't have a meme, but it's just, like, a what happened after, uh, first I was like, um... Was it called Discord's cottage? I mean, not her, not his cottage, his house, his dimension. But right now we're gonna cover Cookie Virus. So 
Rainbow Dusters Journal. Trigger warning character death, as you can see in the comments, feel like right here. Obligatory bite of, every, bite of 87 jokes. Well, we're gonna see why there's a lot of bite of 87, bite of 83s, and well, a couple of meme jokes in here. So, yeah. Last part, they found, well, Pinky found the gang, and Pinky took them to Fortnite's cottage. So, I was shocked. Pinky just admitted that this virus was entirely her fault, but I thought it was, but I thought it was my own. No, Pinky, it can't be. I was the one who fed every pony those cookies. I fed everyone those cookies. Tears were streaming down Pinky's face, so I could tell this wasn't a time to argue, even if I wanted to make, make, take all the blame. She continued to explain herself. I, I'm sure AJ told you. You by now that this was meant to be a terrible prank on you to to one up you it was all my idea no oh, pinky when you came to me with the idea to prank the whole entire town with those rainbow joke cookies i came up with the idea to prank you into thinking we'll all become zombies from eating them but after you fed me that first cookie i felt odd it was hard to explain what the feeling was, but more than anything, I felt ill. But I was too determined to get you back. This was the perfect chance. I forced everyone in Ponyville to buy at least one or two boxes of cookies, even convincing those who didn't want the cookies to participate. I, I ignored how sick those cookies made me in order to one up you, and now I murdered everyone in Ponyville. Pinky crumbled to the floor in tears. Despite her apology, I still didn't believe she had anything to apologize for. I knelt down and wrapped my, oh, wrapped her in my good wing. Oh, Pinky, none of this is your fault. It's not like you made those cookies. There's no way you could have known. Pinky snuffled. Right, right, but I've been wondering, what did you put in those cookies that made ponies become this? I blinked at Pinky. I didn't make those, I didn't make the cookies. Don't you remember? I, or, ugh. I said I special ordered them from someone in Canterlot. I didn't want you to order them. I didn't want to order them for Sugar Cube corner, corner or else it ruined the prank. Pinky perked up at that. Confusion now on her face. But if you didn't make those cookies, who did? We were interrupted by a horrible sound outside. Help. Help me. Instinctively, Pinky and I made it back down into Fluttershy's basement. Our sudden entrance startled everyone inside. Scootaloo spoke. What? What happened? Pinky immediately shushed her. And we wasn't. Help. Please. She sees me. Ababoom gasped. That, that's a pony. There's a pony out there. Ababoom started, started running up the stairs. Before AJ could... Well, AJ grabbed her by the tail. No, Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom yanked herself away from her sister. There, there's a pony out there who needs help. Our family is gone, AJ. Just like you said, I have to help any pony before it's too late. Before any of us could grab her, Apple Bloom was running up the stairs and outside. Apple Bloom, stop. AJ just dis desperately, desperate, desperately. Fuck off. <laughs> This really, I said it once, desperately screamed as her sister ran away. Instantly, every pony was yelling after Apple as the cries for help outside continued. It sounded like a male pony, one I could recognize for sure. Apple Boom burst out of Fluttershy's cottage and turned the corner where the cries were coming from. And that was not a pony. That was, yeah, that was not a pony. Help. Help. Oh, boy. I just got fucking chills. <laughs> I just got chills again. Doesn't matter how many times I record this. I just got chills. The ugh. The ugh is tearing into my soul. And somebody said in the comments, that looks like Fire Don't forget to zoom in on the eyes. And the, uh, obligatory. Was that the body A7 jokes? Help. 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 Oh, I hate that. Oh no, Apple Bloom. <laughs> and the obligatory final 87 jokes here. 
Insert Markiplier's Is that the bite of 87 jokes here? <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> Good old post editing. <laughs> so, um, there's a meme that'll go with this. I'm gonna be quiet. Cause for, for, for some unknown fucking reason, when I talk, you cannot hear me over the sound, even though I have it down. I don't know why TikTok is just like that. Anyways, hopefully this doesn't get me copyrighted, so I'll be back in a couple of seconds, so... Meme. No, wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wrong way. Whoopsies. I was on the post. Well... <laughs> uh, meme. There we go. Ben. <laughs> oh boy, that was foul. <laughs> now you're foul for this. What was that the bite of 87? So bitter, happy, I am grieving. <laughs> Respect to Apple Bloom in the chat. <laughs> Mega Part 5, I thought this was it. <laughs> you're wrong for that. I love the whole thing. Please keep it up. I'm here for it. Aren't we all? We're all here for it. Anxiety monsters, please make some more parts. Now on to Nugget the Cats. Cause this is this one's short, and it's only like one part that they made so far for like the new one. So they were reading markers over here and like just drawing Twilight. So here's the new part. For my little outbreak, French up is gone. I turn on the sounds for that one. So yeah, French is gone. And um well you see, they have blood on them. Twilight and Pinky have blood on, uh, on their bodies. Pinky, how did this happen? I don't know. One of them was infected, disguised as a normal pony. Normal pony. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. They did. All of them are dead. Every pony is dead. We were gone for 10 minutes. How could this happen? It's not safe here. We need to leave Twilight. And Celestia is coming to the fray. She's battling the infected up in the sky who can fly. So yeah, that's uh, my little outbreak. That's the one part that we covered. If you want to see more infection and use also other things on the channel, let me know. In the comments below, I have other infection AUs lined up if you want to see those. Let me know. Also, in the comments below, if you have any suggestions for other video topics they like to see, because I put up a poll on my community tab for different things. And yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Outros are hard, not gonna lie, like intros, but anyways, see you guys in the next video of whatever I make or bring. To the table. See hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the cookie virus. Last time we covered part six on where um Apple Bloom got her head chomped off chomped yeah chomped off for some reason I cannot say that word. <laughs> but anyways I digress. We're here because part six is dropped yesterday. Friday. Well this is part six like correction part seven. I'm in part seven because we we're on part six right now. This is where we left off where um Fluttershy came around the corner. <laughs> Apple Bloom saw said Fluttershy and ensued the bite of 87 jokes. And uh, well, <laughs> ensue meme here. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, insert the bite of 87 jokes here. <laughs> uh, respect to Apple Blues in chat. So, yeah, we're on to part 7 that dropped a couple days. Well, like I said, yesterday. As you can see, 
I kind of had to sound off because it's a pain in my ass to figure out the sound. So, post editing sound again. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So, let's get into part seven. Right on Dash's journal, trigger warning, character death and blood. Surviving the cookie virus, part five, and Scootaloo is in Rainbow's wings. Oh, technically, wing. Hey, that's Fluttershy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Fluttershy. Oh, the eyes. Shoo. Now we're bites. <clears throat> the scream that came out of Applejack was the worst thing I ever heard. There was nothing we could do but watch as Apple Bloom was devoured. Even Pinky was too paralyzed to do anything. Things couldn't get any worse. Then Sweetie Belle started charging. The creature, Rarity screamed, mimic Apple Jack's Sweetie Belle horn lit up and I could tell she was trying to blind the creature as Pinky once did. But as soon as her horn lit up, it went out. <laughs> so I didn't look up by the way, set of seven y'all. <laughs> I didn't read that because I'm fucking laughing at the comment. How <laughs> we try that again? <laughs> So you both got bite of 87. Damn. <laughs> and then this right here. See now why did Sweetie Belle do that? She was trying to save her best friend from being eaten. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sweetie Belle got a bite of 87. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of Final A7 jokes here. Oh man. <laughs> Pinky was behind Sweetie. Behind Sweetie. And then instant wiping out. Whipping out, not wiping out. Whipping out her own flashlight and successfully stunning the creature. The horrible thud of Sweetie Belle's lifeless body was such a sickening noise. Pinky didn't say anything, but as soon as the creature was done, we're shoved back inside the cottage. Why didn't you do anything? Applejack was screaming at Pinky. Pinky hushed Applejack by putting her hoof over her mouth, but AJ immediately shoved her out of, shoved her away. Applejack jumped on Pinky and had her fin. You could have saved her, both of them. Why didn't you pull out your stupid little flashlight then? Would you keep her voice down? She could, she, well, yeah, she can hear us from down here. I don't give an apple trees roots about keeping quiet. Our sisters are dead. Skulu started sobbing. I was surprised when she buried her face in my chest as she was clearly angry with me before, but I wrapped my wing around her in a comforting way. Already stepping. A Applejack, Pinky is right. We need to wait until we're safe. What good are we to our sisters if we're also dead? Applejack hesitated before letting Pinky go. The next few hours were silent besides the horrible crunching outside. Once it was silent and we were sure we were alone, Rarity found her voice. So what do we do now? Everyone looked at Pinky. She sighed and kept her head down. Ponyville is done for. And at this rate, the infect an infected will start leaving this town and invading the rest of Equestria. We obviously need the help. From the princesses? I spoke up, but Carolot is so far away, there's no way we can leave Ponyville without getting a trot off thinking about Apple Boom and Sweetie Belle. Who else do we have to go to? Besides, you said, you ordered those cookies from a bakery in Carolot, right? If we make it there, maybe we can also find the culprit. Applejack made eye contact with me, the first she had in a long time. Wait, you didn't make those cookies? I shook my head. I could tell Scootaloo was also relieved by the news, though I still feel like this was all my fault. But how do we get to Carolot? The fastest way there is by flight, and my wing is busted. How about train, Applejack suggested. Oh, doubt that. The train still runs through here after all of this. She's right. We all looked at Pinky. The train is the best option. I tried escaping on the train days ago, but I, but it had a long been abandoned and the conductor eaten. If we can't get that train running again, we can make it to Canterlot. 
epilogue pinky survival tips. Flashai, one of the first infected, returned to her cottage after days of being missing. She lured out her victims by mimicking, mimicking the voices of a pony she had eaten. I identified this voice to be Dr. Hooves. I suspect the doctor was the reason she was missing, but let his guard down. I got himself eaten. If you hear a pony calling for help, ignore it and get indoors as soon as you can. Summary. Founding ponies mimic the screens of their victims. Yeah. So, I know this is a little short, but <laughs> that'll be probably be it for right now until next week, in which we'll be probably doing random games until the cookie virus, because I seem you guys like the cookie virus as much as I do, because they're art style. And, well, let's not replay it just for the memes. <laughs> You know I had to do it. I, you know I had to do it. <laughs> oh, how I love doing dumb shit like this sometimes. But anyways, this is gonna be the less. Uh, my own playing wires for a while. Unless we get updates with the cookie rice, because I am enjoying this more and more as time goes on. So yeah, very much a short video today than usual, because we cover a long series. The first part was a long, because this was out before I made the uh, video. But anyways, uh, yeah, go check out Anxiety's Monster page, which will be in the link in the description down below. And always remember... Well, Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom got, um... <laughs> you have to bite at 87! <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Peace. Was that the bite of 87?! Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to the channel. No well, welcome back to the video on the channel. Holy crap, I got my words <laughs> mixed up. So last time we were here on Anxiety Monsters page of the Cookie Virus, we uh, went over um, how Sweetie Belle and Apple Boom got bite at 87. <laughs> and now this time, in part 8 of part 6 of their journey, they're trying to get the train started. So, they're finally leaving Ponyville and away from the infected. Right? So. Rainbow Dash's journal. Trigger warning, blood and scary imagery. Surviving the cookie virus, part six. We waited for maybe two or three days. It was hard to keep track. In the basement, AJ claimed her leg was feeling better than my wing still felt busted. Most of our time was spent in silence or mourning. AJ and Randy were still mourning over their sister's gruesome deaths. Rarity often quietly sobbing while AJ would be on edge and get angry at the smallest things. They had every different proce morning processes. Eventually, Pinky wanted to try and initiate her plan of repairing the train and heading to Caroline. She watched and listened outside for Flarshai or any other infected before we stepped out of the cottage. I know Sweetie and Applebaum's bodies were gone. Scrum do just. <laughs> At first, we silently walked for a few feet, going at a slow pace. When Rarity son suddenly hushed us, you hear that? There was a laughter in the distance, but nothing like normal laughter like you hear at a party. It sounded sinister, broken, and dead. Pinky, without saying a word, shoved us forward into a sprint. The laughter started following us. Pinky scooped school on her back since she couldn't run as fast as us. She must have gotten a look at what was behind us and saw behind us because she treated horrifically. Horrifically. Fucking English. This caught, caught the attention of other infected as we were starting to be chased by half a ponyville. Don't stop until we get to the station, yelled Pinky. Our lungs were burning by the time the abandoned train came into view. 
The train was luckily in a better state than I expected. Blood splatter trailed inside the cars, however, presumably from previous passengers, but otherwise it seemed in perfect condition. We ran inside and ducked under their seats. AJ stopped to pull the doors shut. Doors, yeah, shut the doors. The, sl the door slammed loudly right as the smiling pony ran straight into it with a loud crack. Immediately, Pinky and AJ were at the engine to try and get the train running. Rarity held school look close as infected ponies started ramming themselves into the train. The car rocked with every violent shove. Sound of groaning and giggling emanating from outside, selling a mangled hoof shattered the thick glass of the train car. Covered in blood and glass, but still desperately trying to get in. I was panicking. Have you, have you guys figured it out yet? Trying to, just hang on, we got, we almost got it. More glass shudder around us, horrific and stretched faces of our friends peering inside school screen, and we tried to move away from them. Then we started moving, the train slowly chugging before taking off at a rapid speed. The infected pony, pony struggled to hang on before falling out miles away from us. I sighed in relief. I'm still unsure how they managed to start the train. AJ tried to explain it to me. Honestly, I zoned out after the word ignition. Finally, we got out of that. Finally, we got out of that town. I hope we never have to see those things again. Though I feel guilty for leaving our friends behind, I hope we can still see them. Oh, hey, look, it's Twilight. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised how many people instantly knew that was Twilight. Jeez. We can, we can definitely recognize her from those antlers. <laughs> well, from the real for art of the stages, the last stage showed those big deer horn, big deer horns on the host slash Twilight. And we knew exactly who it was. That's Twilight at the end? What happened to my girl? And, and genuine, and genuine, Fucking no. <laughs> oh, the series. I can't wait to see Twilight. He he he, Twilight about to fuck shit up. She is, I remember when I told you what would happen? Yeah, I changed that. It's much worse now. What do you mean it's much worse now? <laughs> it was the horn that gave her right. <laughs> gave her away. I remember it from the stages. I like how you use someone's thought. Smiling ponies mimic laughter. It's creepy. <laughs> oh boy oh boy I, s I wonder what anxiety monster has cooked up in store for us <laughs> oh lovely well that was part 8 technically part 5 for us <laughs> no technically part 4 yeah part 4 for us on video part 7 on oh, part 8 on tiktok and part 6 for the ponies <laughs> You can see what I mean as time goes on as we cover these. But yeah, that was Design Blaster's Cookie Virus. Go check them out. Link will be in the description. Also, their page is right here. Go, 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 go check them out. Please, their art is amazing, like I keep on saying. Look at this beautiful art of them drawing talking pastel horses. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Whatever the hell I make. Or play. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? And I never thought I'd get to say this again. Welcome back to the Cookie Verse. I know a lot of you missed this series, and I really missed it too, because Anxiety Monster's art is, a, is really fucking amazing. Shout out to Anxiety Monster, because her art is awesome. And, well, um, let's, let's just go back over what we have missed so far. A, re a quick. Like, overview, because it, it's been a while. I think some of you guys saw the last videos. Um, but, <laughs> where we have left off is, um, well, d just for old times before I do the quick overview. Ahem. 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 Fuck off. Ah, please work.
we got that out of our systems, but let's actually get back into what we have left off on. So, after the so better theme that we all know and love, and love to laugh at, because it's fucking hilarious, um, our characters were escaping a frowning pony, which was tw no, that's, that is Fluttershy, I almost said Twilight. Sweetie Belle got the Bite of 83, as uh, some of you like to suggest, the Bite of 83. <laughs> Thank you to f trying to back, uh, not back, I'll try to, um, defend our friends from frowning pony flower shy. Since Sweetie Belle and Applejack got, not Apple, this is Jump. <laughs> Sweetie Belle and Apple Blue, I'm sorry. It's been a little bit. Just, just give me a minute. <laughs> uh, Applejack yelling at Pinky because her sister is dead, along with, um, Rarity sister. Also, is kind of non existing. They all had to calm down. Then they, I think, all ran to the train. No, yeah, Pinky suggested the train, so. Survival tips. And, uh, yeah. So, here we are to the eight. Okay, I might turn this down. They're all running away to the train. They made it to the train. The pon the cookie wires ponies, the frowning and the smiling ponies, trying to give me chase, trying to break through the windows and trying to get them. Had the train started and there's Twilight, because of disgusting antler horn. Brief summary, but if you want to go back and watch the other videos, I explained it better there. There's <laughs> a quick synopsis, but here's that next part that y'all been waiting for. This is Rainbow Dash's Journal Surviving Cookie Virus Part 7. True warning, scary f imagery and faces. Oh boy. That's loud. Let me turn on my computer volume. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. The trip to Candlelock would be a long one. Three hours at least for a while. We took the time to calm down living up to the engine while Pinky conducted because the window blowing through the broken window was hurting our ears. We were pretty cramped, but I'm glad we were all together. After a little too much silence, Scooter spoke up. Are we gonna save everybody, right? Even Apple Bloom and Sweetie Bell? Everyone fell into a tense silence at at that. Poor Scooter Lou. I'm sure she'll still sh I'm sure she's still in denial about her friends well being we already end up being ready enough to respond. How about we talk about something else, Scootaloo? To uh, lighten the mood. Okay. Pinky, how did you get those scars? I chuckled while Applejack gasped. Scootaloo, that's not polite. Pinky, she didn't giggle as well. No, no, it's okay. I'm surprised it didn't come up sooner. That's not a very nice... It's not a very nice story, though. Is that okay, Rarity? Rarity said she was okay with it. I knew she just wanted to talk about something other than Sweetie Belle. Well... I don't know if you guys heard that. It was just a fucking trash just went by. <laughs> well, th when things started uh, to go berserk and y'all went missing, I decided to start taking ponies into Forestry's College to avoid the infection. And once ponies got a good look at my mouth, they were all so afraid of me, they just ran away. Eventually, Lyra Heartstrings agreed to bunker with me. I'm uh, not sure y'all know her. She was one of Twilight's old Cantalot friends. Everyone seemed tense at Twilight's name, so Pinky quickly continued. Anyway, I fed her her and gave her some blankets to keep warm. I couldn't tell she was troubling and she told me it was because her girlfriend Bon Bon and well, her girlfriend Bon Bon fucking English again. I can't with English. Let me try this one more time. I could tell she was troubled and she told me it's because her girlfriend Bon Bon had become infected with the cookies. She apparently watched her mutate into a monster. Really sad thing to happen. Oof. 
I'm gonna read the comments a little bit later because I just saw. <laughs> I, I saw. A, a, I saw a funny. <laughs> That night when I had fallen asleep, Lyra must have found an axe with some of my stored weapons while I was sleeping. She attempted to kill me, slashed the axe across my face, and I don't really know why she did it. But I'm sure she was still afraid and heartbroken for Bon Bon. And though I was and thought I was infected, so I don't really blame her for what she did after that she ran off and I never saw her again. I was shocked. We all were sat there staring at Pinky, expecting her to continue. When she didn't, Applejack spoke up. How did you survive an attack like that? I don't know. It hurt so much as it should. My face was being cut open, but after a few minutes, the pain went away. Do you think you got some kind of super healing powers from the cookies? Pinky shrugged and said, she didn't know for sure, but I seem to be the only logical explanation. The school, the school approached Pinky and pulled her main back and exposed giant white teeth marks on her neck. Well, how about this scar? We, I'm not talking about that scar. Yee. Pinky pushed Skrulu away and immediately turned around to look ahead. Scoop was in my arms. Yeah, that will be arms. I think, yeah. Well, let me that would be legs or arms. I don't know. Anyways, Scoot was in my arms in an instant, nuzzling her face into my coat. I glared at Pinky despite her not facing a uh, Scootaloo sniffed, which must have caught Pinky's attention. I'm sorry, Scootaloo. That was a sad story. Well, can I make it a happy story? Pinky was surprised by all of this, I could tell, but she agreed. Well, after Lyra attacked Pinky, Lyra apologized. She was sorry for what she did and wanted to make up make up to her. So Lyra pulled a little puppy dog for Pinky. Pinky was very happy to have a new puppy friend. So Pinky and Lyra played with the puppy all night. Pinky felt better. The puppy got too playful and bit Pinky on accident. But in a puppy voice, apologized and looked it better. Then, that's adorable. This clearly made Pinky very happy. She thanks Glue for the story and wait, there's something on the tracks. Oh, um, hey, look, it's Twilight. Oh <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. Hey, look, it's Twilight. <laughs> I just wanted to wait to read the comments. <laughs> Probably like the awesome with that Zaz. That Zaz. What I'm telling you for now. Me on <laughs> Oh no. Piggy had the trauma. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's why I find the way through that comic because holy crap. Oh god, Bonbon? Oh god, Twilight. She either very fast or she can still use her magic because how on earth is she already? Is she there already? I was responding to you. <laughs> what? And a little thank you note at the end. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Demon eyes, Twilight. The eyes do not make it any better, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, here's a thank you note. Thank you for enjoying my stuff. I know only eight of you are going to read this, but this stuff is a lot of fun to make. Unfortunately, updates will be posted less and less frequently. <clears throat> as I'm only one person who also has a job in college, but that doesn't mean that the series is over. I also make no money from this, so it'd be if you'd like to support me, feel free to commission me or donate on my Ko-Fi. Commission info and go play are linked in my twitter see you guys in the next one yeah cookie virus is back and uh that was part let me see or uh, no that's chapter two this is chapter two okay that was chapter two of the cookie virus and i'm gonna say yippee cookie virus is back like Anxiety Monster said, they're going to be less and less frequent with the upload because they have a job and 
go to college full time. So, yeah, give give this creator some support. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Just before we go, <laughs> one last time, and I know you guys love this. We all love this meme. We all love it. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, the bite of 87 jokes will never die in our little community that is um full of gamers and pony lovers. <laughs> Good lord. But yeah, that was anxiety monsters. Cookie virus. Go give them support, like I said. And yeah, I don't know what else to say for the outro. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later in the next video where we make our play uh, next. I'm a little stoked up too. But anyways, peace.